Hello, Shuri here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. In this space, I'm building a 14-step straight staircase today. The stairs are a bit different from the usual ones. I start building. Today, I'm building a straight staircase. It has been decades since I built a staircase with all straight stairs. I can't remember the last time I did it. The 14th step will be the second floor. Instead of marking the stringer, I mark the stairs position to the wall. The second floor of the 14th step is called Jodan Gamachi. Using a laser, I measure the bottom position of it and measure all the steps from back to front. It is 2800 millimeters from the first to the second floor. Dividing it by 14, one step will be 200 millimeters high. The height of the riser is called keage in Japanese. I'm going to cut the truss to 210 millimeters. It's quite a gentle upward slope. On both walls, I draw a full-size drawing of the staircase. It's my first time drawing full-size drawings for stairs on a wall. Usually, I align two stringers on a workbench and draw the line. I thought it would be easy to draw the line right on the wall, but it's not. Since I draw in a place with no stringer, neither the length nor width can be measured initially. To see the laser line, I have temporarily installed the wall panels. I measure the front position using a laser, then using the incline from there to the top. A single step's height can be calculated by dividing the line length by 14. I also measure the height from the floor and the length from the front and mark the position. I'm comparing two levels and choosing the most accurate one. I can't use a laser level to measure horizontally for each step. Even if it measures the height from the floor one step at a time, it's hard to level it. I think the most precise way is to use a level without turning it over and draw all the horizontal lines. I attach a piece of thread and draw the thickness. Under that drawing, I'm going to secure the support and secure the thread with glue and screws above it. There is a bathroom behind the staircase and storage under the stairs. I have already measured the height of the bathroom door as well as the front and back of the staircase. The stairs barely failed to overlap here. It was a close call. Another unusual aspect of the staircase is that there are no walls on the right side of the four bottom steps. I'm removing the wall panels now. I installed these panels temporarily to draw the full-scale drawing. I'm going to cut these wall panels according to the full-scale drawing and install the truss on them. It's not a skeleton stair, but the four steps make it feel open. I start cutting the removed wall panels. These are not plywood, it's called an M-cloth. 
It is made of Wi-Free softwood, and the paper is attached to it. Lumon plywood is often used for plywood, but the line comes out if it gets wet, even with wallpaper glue. This problem has been solved with m -cloths. I installed the cut wall panels. It looks more like a DIY wall assembly rather than carpentry. When installing stairs with our stringers, creating a stable and precise wall is crucial. There might be several ways to assemble, but this is the only way I could think of, so I made it this way. I install the supports on both sides of the wall. The material is the same lumber as a 4cm square ceiling frame called Nobuchi. I cut this into thin pieces and fasten them with glue and screws. I am screwing it in after gluing the support, but it is really difficult. The support is shaking by rotating screw. It was challenging to fasten them in the right places. Today is very cold. Ice has formed on the water this morning. Currently, the ice is melting, but the water is still cold. I don't want to sharpen a blade on a day like this. I can't sharpen properly. I don't remember when I started using this natural redstone for finishing, but it has started to crack. Though it's not poor quality, it started to peeling off and it became difficult to use. I wish someone would let me rent a nice whetstone. I have already finished the timber with a super surfacer, but I also lightly plane it. I didn't sharpen it properly in the cold, so the sharpness isn't great. Today is day two. On the second day, it is colder and snowing. I'm really glad to work inside. I cut the thread. As a staircase has walls on both sides, there must be no gap between the threads and the wall. A gap will develop between the thread and the walls if I do not snugly attach them. I make sure to cut each of the 13 threads precisely.
the bottom four steps will be open. I'll make those threads a bit longer on the hallway side. It's the first time I have built this kind of shape. There's nothing better than looking good. So I mix the threads for 2-3 to three centimeters. Threads above the waist may interfere with walking. Since it's only for the bottom 4 steps, I think it's okay. I'm going to use a groove cutter to make the anti-slip. I sharpen the blade first. The blade is rounded, but the backside is straight. I only sharpen the straight part with a fine diamond wood cell. I'm going to cut the anti-slip groove to 10 centimeters inside, not to the edge, to make it stylish. This time, pine wood will be used for the riser, and it will be plastered. At this point, I mark the line for the riser's position. If I were to do this later, I would need to mark it while facing up. So I do this ahead of time. To prevent cracking, I apply wood glue neatly to the ends of the threads. The idea here is to let it dry for a day, but that is not possible, so I install them as soon as I finish applying glue. I install threads from the top. I align it neatly in the position that I drew on the wall. Then I screw it from the bottom of the support. I forgot to glue the first thread. I glue it and screw it from the bottom. I screw the bottom four threads from the bottom as well. In the past, it was common to make the bottom four steps skeleton stairs, which you could see through. Nowadays, skeleton stairs still exist, but it takes time to build them and will warp after a while. However, skeleton stairs are very stylish. Staircases have a gentle slope today. Even gentle slopes used to be about 45 degrees. In today's buildings, 45 degrees is steep.
a screw is a thread from the wall directly using three long screws. It's well secured despite its appearance. I install the risers. You can use either plasterboard or M cloth if it's for a riser, but if the riser is screwed to the thread, M cloth will be well secured. I think the entire staircase will be sturdier if M cloth is used. Finally, I finished the ends of the bottom four steps. I can finish it beforehand, but it's easier to plane after the threads are well secured. I can plane it firmly, and it finishes beautifully. Then I chamfer the four sides, and the staircase is complete. I have finished building the staircase with pine treads. It looks almost exactly like the picture. This design also looks nice. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.